In this video, we're going to show you how to install the upstream O2 sensor in your Jeep Wrangler, located in the forward part of your exhaust. And we're going to use a 22 millimeter wrench to go ahead and loosen our O2 sensor here. Now what we do is we cracked it open or cracked it free, and then we sprayed it with some rust penetrant and let it sit for a little bit, hoping that some of that will get into the threads. And what we're doing is once we turn it, we're gonna turn it back and we're gonna work this back and forth. I'm gonna continue to do that so we can go ahead and get this pulled out. Now we're using a split O2 sensor socket to get onto this here. And the reason why it's split is that the wire itself needs to come out one way or another. You should be able to get to a point where that sensor will unthread out. Go ahead and remove that. Now on the top side here, or on the back side of the engine, you have a fuel rail right here. And here is the connector, the electrical connector for the O2 sensor. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and grab that O2 sensor that we just disconnected. And I'm gonna bring that up top with us. Now I'm gonna use a trim tool here and we're gonna go ahead and separate I'm going to pull out that little Christmas tree locking retainer for the harness. Gently go ahead and rock that back and forth. It's going to allow us to go ahead and grab the unit like so. And we want to separate these two. Here we go. We have that separated. We'll go ahead and remove the old harness right here. Go ahead and discard the O2 sensor. Now we have the new one here. And the new one comes with a protective cover on it. You want to make sure you keep that on there until you install this unit. These are fragile components. Now I'm going to keep the O2 sensor up top for now. I'm going to connect the new unit right here. Press that together. You're gonna feel it and lock into place. There it is right there. And our new unit has a little Christmas tree on it, so we're gonna utilize that. Press it into place, beautiful. Now we can go ahead and slowly lower down our O2 sensor. We're gonna twist that so that it drops down behind. And so let's go down below, down to the exhaust system and get that O2 sensor threaded into the pipe. Now, when we go to thread in our O2 sensor, it's going to rotate several threads clockwise into the exhaust. So what we're going to do is we don't want to cause our wires here for the O2 sensor to bind up. So we're simply going to take this harness and we're going to rotate it counterclockwise, several threads. Then we're gonna remove the protective cap here. Now there is a crush washer on the O2 sensor here that will help seal this. And the threads also have uh, anti-seize compound on the threads. We're gonna line this up and thread this in. So when we thread this in clockwise, the wires will unwind and be in a neutral position once it's tightened down. Now once you're done installing this here, if you do have any check engine light codes or anything, you wanna go ahead and have those cleared and then go ahead and run the vehicle. 
Go ahead and tighten that down. You wanna make sure it's nice and tight. You're also going to look up at the base here. Make sure that that crush washer is pretty much flat. And you'll know when you tighten this here, it pretty much stops. You know it's tight. Go ahead and check that wire. It's in a neutral position. You don't wanna want this wire rubbing on your exhaust. If you want to, you could use a little wire tie to hold that up aside. But once this is tight, you can go ahead and repeat for any other O2 sensors that you need to do. Once you've done that, you're all set. When only the best will do, demand TRQ. The only company that lets you view before you do. TRQ is committed to offering the highest quality aftermarket auto parts that are engineered for peace of mind. Thanks for using and viewing with TRQ.